the record holders Klim and Frolander. Lane four, representing Sweden. Championship record holder, Rush Frolander. Frolander, the man to beat here. The 100 meters butterfly for men, ready for a start. Take your marks. Even start up there, Mintenko away well in lane two. Underwater they are, up they come now. And off to a good start it would be Crocker. Crocker of the United States out there in lane five. Also going well now in lane six, it would be Hugel. So watch them as they go up towards this turn. The two in the middle lanes up there with it, just sliding back a little bit. Also making the pace would be Mintenko of Canada. Mintenko might turn in one of the leaders. It's Kulikov at the bottom there. Kulikov turning, Hugel in second place. And back there, Kulander, followed by Mintenko. As the race is on for home. Watch for Mintenko at the top and also starting to go through now in lane four. It will be Frolander. Tim can't go the pace with Frolander. Hugel's going well as well. It's Hugel and also Frolander. Stroke for stroke they go. Watch this finish. Big finish come up. It could even be Crocker. Let it. Now it's Frolander. Frolander got there. Crocker second. Hugel third. So little separating them. What a finish. Frolander winning it. Championship record time there. 52-10. Second place Crocker and Hugel third and they Ladies virtually and hit the wall together. New World Championship record in Yamamoto four, was fourth of Japan. Kulikov was fifth. Mintenko, Klim, a disappointing swim champion. back in seventh place. You win at the Olympic Games. Some regarded that as being a surprise victory. But you look at his credentials and he has them all. The result of the 100 metres butterfly, Lars Frolander, a gold for Sweden, 52-10, Crocker, the silver for the United States, and Hugel bronze for Australia.